New Orleans is known as being the birthplace of jazz and home to many talented musicians. Its musical roots date back hundreds of years. Well, let me introduce you to someone who's made a career of keeping those musical roots alive. Let's go. Hey, baby, how you hey, doing? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Got your black coat. I got it, thank you, baby. <laughs> Now, you are an amazing singer and even more dynamite live performer. So uh, tell us about your new album, Creole Woman. Uh, Creole Woman, that was my homecoming album. I decided to come home after 18 years of being in New York. So you're from here? Born and raised, yes. Well, now that you are back in New Orleans, and we're so glad to have you back, what are your favorite things to do here? You know, I actually, I like to act like I'm a tourist sometimes. You do? I do. I actually like to do my staycations. I'll go and stay at the Moxie or, you know, go stay at one of these little boutique oh, yeah. spots. <laughs> And what do you do? So I take myself out to, to eat and like I go to my favorite places that I haven't been able to go to over the years. Like where? Willie Mays. Oh my God. Dookie Chase. Ooh. And then I take tours. What kind of tours? I have a friend, Mikola. She has a tour that's more from the, the perspective of the black person's influences and their contributions to New Orleans. I was going to ask you if you wanted to go. Are you kidding? Let's go. This is Congo Square the birthplace of jazz. Right here. Right here would be the only place throughout the story of slavery where the enslaved Africans would be allowed to meet and congregate on Sundays and play the dramas. You're in, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. in. Here we go. I'm not gonna quit my day job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe drumming is not your thing, but I have another idea. I wanna take you somewhere and teach you how to play another instrument. You know, obviously I'm not that musically inclined, but Varla is. Diva! Hey, Varla! Hey, how you doing? Oh, Ow! Well, look at all beautiful and flamingoish. Thank you, or, or maybe a really gay muppet. Oh. <laughs> So cute. So we're here at the Always Lounge and Cabaret. This is where we do a lot of live music and, you know, burlesque shows. I actually just did a show here recently. Yesterday, Jeff said Barla Jean was musically inclined. What instrument do you play? Oh, well, I am a very accomplished ukulele player. A ukulele, really? Yes, but I left it on the streetcar. I had a daiquiri. Oh, God. Well, you know what? You're in luck today because I bought an extra trombone. Oh, really? Okay, no, not that way. No, it's this way, because you gotta, okay, yeah. I know. <laughs> okay. So, okay, no, 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 no. Maybe the lipstick, no, not like that. Yeah, like Zerblik. Like. Oh my God, I'm amazing. I'm a middle-aged prodigy. Just, just, just give me a couple minutes, honey. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, yeah, cool, give, all right. Give me a drink while you're over there. Okay. <laughs> You are an amazing teacher, yes. and I'm an amazing student. Oh, you are. You and are. I'm parched. Do you want to grab a drink? Absolutely. All right, come on, baby. Okay. <laughs> I know. Ooh, oh, you. Deepa, thank you so much for sharing your music with me today. That is awesome, and I, I had a great time hanging out with you. <laughs> well, I am Varla Jean Merman, and one time in New Orleans, I taught a man how to find his rhythm. <laughs> and I let a lesbian teach me how to blow a trombone. Yes, a trombone. <laughs> Cheers, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna need another. <laughs>